It is, uh, I call Dan Harper-Jones. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I strongly commend this bill to the House. It takes a village to raise a child, they say. But it takes a generation's childish negligence to raise the sea levels that destroy that village. So let's, let's talk about saving it. What makes this bill great is the balance of the values behind it and the practicality going forward. It protects the most vulnerable today and even the most protected in future generations, who one day we will not be commending as inspirational young leaders whilst prohibiting them from voting on the issues that are more relevant to them. But in the meantime, we can prepare for the change they bring by setting targets with flexible ways to achieve them. Technology changes and the wants of people change, but the facts of the disaster approaching us do not. The cleaner, more adaptable future offered by 90% renewable energy does not either. Many of the arguments in opposition come from history, meaning that some targets have been reached poorly in the past. So, for this transition, to be dynamic and effective, it needs to be responsive, culturally, technologically and environmentally. We cannot rely any more on top-down change. It has to be in-outwards change. Let's decide these goals together and reach out to truly know how we'll get to them. We cannot afford to alienate anyone in this, least of all those who will be hurt by climate change the most. And I firmly believe the accountability measures in this bill will help us to avoid this. So to conclude, I, I will vote in favour of the Sustainable Energy Bill because it outlines bold targets with opportunity for robust public engagement. The hills and valleys of my electorate or Hardyu aren't threatened by rising sea levels like other parts, but that just helps us appreciate the security that everybody should and can feel. in our urban spaces, in our rural communities, and as luck would have it, in our Pacific Island neighbours. Because we must remember that this choice isn't just about my beautiful electorate, nor our beautiful country. It is about our beautiful planet that we must be held accountable for preserving. I'm reminded of the Whakatauki. Tangata akawani te whare, te turangaki te marae tauana. We learn and set targets here, but must inspire a global awareness. Of, and commitment that by spreading that understanding as far as we can reach. I think of women's suffrage and of nuclear free, and I remember that our reach isn't limited by oceans. It extends farthest with transparency and with an open mind, those values that this bill enshrines. And with determination, an open mind can reach for the best of humankind. Kia ora. Madam Speaker, um, just, just before I call you, can I say kia ora tato to the House? Um, my name is Anne Tolley. I am the MP for East Coast, but I am also the Deputy Speaker. I've spent a long time trying to get here to join you today, so I'm very pleased to see you all. Um, can I just remind you that um, interjections are, are, are reasonable? Um, keep, them, keep them reasonable, keep them rare, and preferably witty. Madam Speaker. I call Azaria Howe. Described as having a stunning scenery, a wide array of